super excited about this. Been waiting quite a while to open this. Had it for about a month now. This is the six brush art set. Ah. New set of brushes that I ordered from the Artistic Bear Company, which is created by YouTuber Chloe Rose. Super excited to get into this, check it out. I've been a fan of hers for a couple years now, um, and I'm excited about anything she puts out. And these especially brushes made by an artist, designed by an artist, for artists. Missed it on the first round of orders, ended up getting in the second. Um, got them on the second round, but have still been sitting on it for a month, waiting to make this video so I could open them with you. You know, get a look at the experience, because that's, you know, it's part of the thing is, is the packaging. So, does have some special Artistic Bear Company tape. So, I think it's time. Let's get this open. I should have an overhead, shouldn't I? Chloe Rose Art, thank you so much for supporting my work. Artistic Bear Company, Peanuts, which everything is supposed to be biodegradable stuff. This, and I feel in this, this, yeah, these don't feel like traditional packing peanuts at all. Let's see if I can just throw these in my compost. That would be great. And also the plastic on this is supposed to be biodegradable, plant-based plastic. So that's really cool. If you're not familiar with Chloe, she loves bears, so it's not at all a surprise. Use that as the mascot for her brush company. Starting out just looking at these guys, they look really nice, good quality. They've got a good feel. I love the color. You know, most brushes are like black or blue or dark colors. You know, dark, dark wood, black. Don't see a whole lot of brushes that go for a really interesting color like this mint. So I'm happy to see that. It's got the logo for the company on the brush right there. Looks nice. These are synthetic fibers on the brush. So they're not uh, actual hair fibers that you might see on other blush. Uh, they're not actual hair fibers like you see might see on other brushes like a, a sable. But that's not a bad thing. Synthetic brushes aren't necessarily you know, worse than natural hair. An advantage to a synthetic brush is that it can be used for multimedia purposes. It's good for oil, acrylics, watercolor, gouache. We've got an oval, two filberts, one angle, and two round. The shape and condition of the brushes looks pretty good in general. Nice and soft. The only one that's not really great is the smaller of the two rounds. Came kind of frayed, but I'm pretty sure that's something I can, I can fix with some soap. Just wet it down, put it in soap, let it dry. I think that'll probably correct it. And I think it'll be a fine brush. So you can see it's a little, little out there, but it's not, it's not ruined by any means. It's still usable. I'll just have to, to put a little bit of effort and care into cleaning it, or not cleaning it, but res reviving it, refreshing it. The larger round looks great. It's got a nice point to it. I think that's gonna be great to use. And then everything else looks looks wonderful. So I've done that, I'm gonna set this aside to dry. Who better to make a complete high quality brush set than an artist who has spent over a decade destroying and losing brushes? Behold in all their mint glory, the perfect brush set, not biased. It's plastic minus the actual plastic. But we didn't stop there. The handles are made from wood resource from wood reforestation programs, and the lacquer handles are non-toxic. And one more thing, we'll plant a tree on behalf of every brush set sold. Packaging's definitely gonna go in my compo. We've got this brush set. I think we gotta paint something with it. Let's do it. So this being from Chloe Rose and Artistic Bear Company, I thought it only appropriate to do a painting of a bear. So I looked up some quick references on Google. Put the bear in a forest right by a lake. 
Now as I'm working with these guys, these brushes, I'm liking them quite a bit. They're they're taking up paint pretty well. They're giving me nice brush strokes. So I think I want to take this time to talk about what I think these brushes represent. Now it's pretty common these days for YouTubers and influencers in general to come out with merchandise, different products. A lot of them are easily dismissed as just quick money grabs. Uh, you know, t-shirts, hats, t-shirts, prints, uh, especially all the low quality stuff that some people put out. This I do not think is anywhere close to that. I think that this comes from a place of A, wanting to aid the art community that, you know, the art community that she's built on YouTube and just the larger art community in general. I think that these brushes are excellent quality. I think that they're, I think it's one of those things that when it's designed by an artist and it's designed for artists, that the product just ends up being as good as it can be. And it's also one of those things where Chloe has talked quite a bit on her channel about her interest in doing everything that she can to protect and preserve the environment and this is another place that she's putting her money where her mouth is she could definitely have made these brushes less expensive and probably the same quality but less expensive from the materials that go into the brush and all the packaging you know, she probably could have probably could have sold them for half the price. But she didn't compromise and she put out the product that she believed in. And that's another reason that I think these brushes stand apart from just about anything I've ever used before. The bears are not something that uh, that I've painted or even drawn before. So it was a nice, interesting challenge to do that on top of everything else, on top of testing these brushes out. But I think yeah, I came out pretty good. I was happy with the process and the, the drawing, the painting. Not bad for a first bear. Give him a nice little smile. It took me a while to get this blending under the kind of shadowy spot right between his legs there. It never quite came out right. I think in the end it looks okay, but not great. Adding a little bit of texture here and there now. Trying to add a little bit more detail to the water. Give him a nice reflection. And that's done the final product all in all really happy with how this painting turned out and really happy with the brushes they're definitely something i can recommend